Well, it looks like our girl has grown up and she decided, hell, what the hell? What the hell? I quit this nation, now I'm quitting Real Housewives of Atlanta. She quit this nation about two months ago. Don't know what she was thinking when she did that. I'm like, what are you thinking about, baby girl PJ? What are you thinking about, baby girl PJ? Then this woman's going to turn around and quit the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now I'm going to say she quit. I'm going to say she quit. Even though the streets are saying she got fired. <laughs> or they weren't going to pay her what she fir- what she felt she was worth. So she did the honorable thing, bowing out gracefully, and said, Okay, I am going to go spread my wings and see where else I can fly and produce me some money. Okay, she don't wrote a book or somebody helped her write a book. What I can't understand is why she's so loyal to me and not herself. Remember, Dennis? She was going to love on that man. She loved his dirty drawers. She had forgiven him for cheating on her while she was pregnant, having a baby. And she said she had to just stay with this man because she felt she needed to have a united front of a marriage. And she wanted her daughter to get to know her father under one roof. Okay. You remember we spent a whole season with her trying to explain to the public, which is us, why she wanted to and why she felt she needed to stay with her baby daddy. See, that woman going to go around him quitting jobs like it ain't nobody business. Now, you know she uh, is the most prettiest thing, gorgeous. But how long them looks going to last? I told them, they, they really could be sisters. They really could. But that's Fallon. The streets are saying Portia went and fooled with Simon, Dirty Simon Gabadia, while they were filming. I guess it was season 13 or maybe it was 12. I don't know because I didn't really watch it. But they're supposed to be best buddies. See, that's Fallon. And she invited those two to, over to the crib to get to know them, to solidify herself on the big screen of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But it didn't work out. didn't work out. So, some people are saying on the street, he's getting with Portia to get some credibility of fame and fortune. And since he didn't get a chance to get it with Fallon. Fallon was just too quiet and too timid. Uh, Portia's very much so outgoing. She goes and gets what she thinks she wants. And then when she gets it, she got to cry about it. Because she done made a mistake. But, like they said, Portia, when you play dirty, you ain't going to win in the end. Okay? And it's a sad story that you had accomplished so much in the industry. And you're throwing it all away for a man. I find that very stupid. I find that very unforgiving. And I just find that just total ludicrous. Lunacy. I'm like, you're going to put all your eggs in one basket and hope that it fares well. That's just like putting all of your coins, dollars, however you want to see your financial portfolio be put in one type of stock in the stock exchange. Instead of diversifying it and putting it in a lot of different entities and see what goes what or what goes where. But she put all her baskets and hopes for the future in Simon Gabadium. And I'll tell you, since he came on the scene, I ain't heard nothing good about him. I ain't heard nothing good about Simon Gabadia. Because when he was with Fallon, uh, as quiet as kept and loud as so I'm going to speak it out, they said she never met Simon's um, family. She never went to Nigeria. She never got that little happy dance and a, a cute gown made for her, welcoming her since she had married Simon. She didn't get all those perks. But Miss Portia, she got all those perks in their song. And I just don't understand why she couldn't just date the man for a long time. What is the point of a rush, 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 rush engagement slash wedding? Then she out there buying rings, breaking tradition. But I don't think Portia was no tradition type person. She just wanted us to believe she was traditional. (sighs) 
but she's just too throwing too much caution to the wind and she's gonna be totally dependent on this man he's gonna make her a queen or is he a prince and she's gonna be a princess i mean what's the story what's the backstory fact checkers get into the comments and tell me what's going on is simon a prince or is he a king somewhere oh <sighs> porsche 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 i love me some porsche and i love to basically see her evolve she kind of disappointed me uh getting into the situation after i was so proud of her doing the black lives matter getting out there speaking for the underdogs and making her voice known you know go taking it back to the civil rights movement i was like okay go ahead go ahead Portia. i hear you girl i hear you and i see you we shall overcome okay with the younger generation but that was very short lived because i tell you all things work together for our good for those who love the lord and Portia was a little evangelist running around him uh, when she started on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And now I'm like, damn, you don't went from heaven to hell? Girl, you don't went from sugar to shit? Oh, you used to be such a boss, a boss, girl. Now you just, these jobs that made you who you are, gave you the platform of where you are now, you just toss them to the side like you just got money out the bazooka. I mean, Andy even said, push play, push pause. We're going to let you go. Going to let you venture out on your own. And we're going to hold the door open for you. Because he liked Portia. He really saw growth in Portia. Especially when Portia called herself yanking that hair of Kenya Moore. And trying to swing it to the floor. And then try to get on top of her to beat her. And, you know, and then he was trying to tell the girl, don't, don't end your career like this. Don't end your career. And she had to hold on to understanding. And she had to go to anger management classes and get herself back together, honey. And it was like rooting for her. Rooting for her. It's like Clyde Davis and Whitney Houston. Child. But Andy supposedly ain't got no pool over there no more. I don't, I don't think he pretty much has that watch what happens live. It's clubhouse thing. And that ain't on good firm shake it. That, that ain't on good standing ground. It's on the shake, shake, shake ground. It's on some shaky ground. So he might be out of job later on too. Because his housewife franchise, especially Atlanta, is just tearing up. It's in shambles. It's like no good season there. I like just throw the whole cast away and let's just start over brand new. I mean, short go the first time. Why can't we strike oil the next time? Okay. But anyway, everybody has done a video on Portia and her sketchy, unorthodox behavior where she's going around here quitting lucrative jobs. Now, I say quit because that's what she said. But most people on the social media streets, in these streets, these YouTube streets, said she got fired. He said she wanted more money to come back to be harassed by Kenya Moore, Marlo Hampton. Because you know they're going to the docket, honey. They're go, they going to the courthouse. They're going to pull everything up they can possibly find on her fiance. Okay? That's what they do. That's what they get paid for. And they do it very well. And she just didn't want the smoke. She didn't want the smoke. Personally, I think she could have handled it. I, I would have had all my jobs. And still trying to say, I'm going to get married soon. I don't know when, but we're making plans. But I still would have been on Dish Nation, Dish and Dirt. I would have still been on the Housewives, fighting the Housewives. I would have been twirling in my hair company. And any other adventure she had out there to make her some money. Because it's best to have your own. God bless the child that got his own. And that's a true statement, people. That's a true statement. God bless the child that got his own. Because, honey, when you get married, you got to share. You got to ask permission. You got to ask advice. You just can't be on your own and just like, okay, no, it's just going to be me and the Lord. We're going to make these decisions, okay? And let the Lord be the head of the household, okay? But, uh, uh Portia said, no, I'm going to throw away this nation. I'm going to throw away the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I got my little spin-off show. Hopefully, it'll roll like Kim Zosiak Beerman's show for about eight seasons. But see, that's the point, Portia. We haven't really seen you on your own, acting on your own. So who are your players on this pursuit of Portia? Who are you going to have as your cast members? Who's going to be filming with you? 
I mean, is it going to be somebody that make us chuckle, make us laugh, <coughs> make us like, where they been? Why they didn't? Why they didn't come on Real Housewives of Atlanta with their attitude? Godly, ain't no Portia family with that interesting. You know, I'm blase, blase. Cause I know, I know, I know. Simon's not gonna put his family up there, and they ain't gonna make no fool out they sales. I like the Americans run around here and make that money regardless of how they look on stage or how they look in the um in the world of the people looking at them on their job acting ass acting a damn fool you know what i'm saying because that's all it is on ratchet this is ratchet tv reality tv but y'all see how i feel about it i don't know what portia doing but maybe she know what she doing maybe, maybe she need to she need to get on her knees and just ask the lord for forgiveness repent for taking the lady's husband if that's what it was or she was fooling around with them while they were engaging on thinking about getting the hell away from each other meaning Fallon and um, Simon you know but she just couldn't wait it was just like okay I, I see the writing on the wall let me get in here and get my stuff where he can see what he's missing and he needs to come on and get this so you know she probably call him dad and all that kind of crap I don't know but we're going to go on to Yahoo because, like I said, a lot of uh, platforms had it, people, Essence. And then we had the YouTubers out there doing what they do, collecting the evidence and putting it on their platforms and just let it lie and let the uh, audiences just gravitate to it and put their spin on it. Okay? That's what we're doing here over here at Deb Chanel's 40s World. If you like all these videos or you like similar video, yep, videos like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, okay? But we're going to get into it. Um, her name was Maggie Nye McGee. She wrote it, uh, came from the Guru, okay? But it's on Yahoo.com's platform. They titled it, Portia Williams announces she will not be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm like, ain't that a bitch? Okay, ain't that a bitch? When did she sit and make this a well thought out plan decision? What was her mama dying when she was making this? Because it seems like Portia is going to go back to what she said she hated with a lifestyle from her first marriage which was with Cordell she was a trophy wife she didn't really get to make any decisions or anything she had to just sit there look pretty and that's all so that's what you're going to do with Mr. Simon Gobadia um Portia you're going back instead of going forward it's like you took six some steps back just to be in this man's presence when for one he older than dirt okay he don't look like he can do too much as far as activity uh, running these streets with you going to parties and all this type of thing like he get winded real quick you know i'm, I'm kind of putting him like the late great deceased greg leagues you know what i'm saying greg knew his he, he knew his stamina he knew what he could do and what he could not do and he wasn't gonna make a fool out of himself but this simon good body a child he smoked too much i'm like push why you all like all these folks that smoke y'all we got a cigar in his mouth he probably drank that hard brown liquor, shriveling up his liver and everything, having no quality of life going on. Oh, but anyway, let's get on into this article. Um, we go on and says, it is finally time to begin my next chapter. She said in a statement shared on her social media. And if you don't know, go to her Instagram uh, account and you will have it. I'm sure she still have it up there. Probably her PR people told her to do it. But I really believe Portia tried to bite off too much of the apple of what was feeding her. And just asked for too much money that, you know, Portia, I'm trying to see if you can hold a show on your own. I'll be tuning in just to see what the pursuit of Portia is all about. And I hope you bring it. I really do. Because then if you don't bring it, it don't fare that well um, with the numbers when they're trying to calculate if they want to give you another season. What you going to do as far as income? I mean, I know that go naked hair supposed to be flying out the door every time you make new batches. Um, that's what I hear. I don't know if it's true. Um, and I don't know what else you have. You have a book thing that you're supposed to be doing. But 
I don't know who's going to really buy it other than just buying it because they just saw your pretty face on it and they're going to use it as a door stopper. I don't know because I don't know Portia. But anyway, going back to the article, it said um, Portia Williams dropped a bombshell on social media Thursday when she announced her exit from the Real Housewives of Atlanta after 10 years, okay? After 10 life-changing, gratifying, incredible years, it is finally time to begin my next chapter. Next season, I will not be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta's franchise. William shared via her Instagram statement. Okay, and whoever wrote this up, it had to be a publicist or maybe it was Lauren. Because Portia really don't talk like this. Okay, but anyway, going on. It expresses uh, this was a difficult decision to not only make, but also come to terms with. It's one I have put a lot of thought into, and because of that, I know it's the right one, she continued. I want to thank Bravo, Truly Original, and Andy Cohen for this opportunity, and all the show's producers, editors, and assistants for working tirelessly every day to create our show. Her announcement comes three days after fellow co-star Cynthia Bailey announced she won't be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta after 11 seasons in her post. She noted that she has made the very difficult and heartfelt decision not to return for the next season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, my point intended, not in this latest article, I'm like, Cynthia, sit yourself down, girl. Because if you ain't saved your money out of 11 years, I don't know what to say for you, baby. I just don't know what to say. Because you don't got caught up, too, with Mr. Mike, Mr. Magic Mike. And I'm still waiting on that dating show y'all was supposed to be hosting together. What happened? What it never came to fruition. It's almost like Sheree and her joggers and her fashions from she by Sheree. I, I mean, what, where, where, where is all this stuff? You know, and then y'all come to me, you know, with heartfelt this, that, and the third. Just say you got fired or they didn't want to pay you what you felt you was worth and you had to bounce, you know, or if, or it was a mutual agreement. You're not giving me what I want. I'm not giving you what you want. So we're going to have to, we got to disagree. We got to agree to disagree and we're going to uh, part ways. That's all. But she, that, Cynthia, her uh, come around. Just be like, Nene, hey, they didn't want me. They tried to discriminate against me. They tried to do this. That. Give us something else, you know, to lobby out here for you all. If it's a chance that you can get back on the show, you know. I'm still holding out for Thadra to come back. I want my Thadra to come back. I, I, and then I'll probably start watching the show again. But it just, it has no luster. It's lacking in luster. It's not enough kikis, ha-has anymore. It's just like, uh, bland. Bland. No season at all. But anyway, going back to the article. If we were to look at, um... Portia's Instagram post, she wrote in it saying, after 10 life-changing, gratifying, incredible years, it is finally time to begin the next chapter. Next season, I will not be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we read that. Um, I have so much love and endless gratitude for my Bravo family and supporters. You've made the past decade a truly special one. One where I've dealt with unbelievable highs and unbelievable lows. And I can honestly say I would not have made it through some of them without the unconditional love and support I have gotten from all of you. That's she talking about us, y'all. Okay. Don't worry, though. I'll be back on your TV very soon. I can't wait to share all of my exciting endeavors with the world, beginning with the release of my memoir, The Pursuit of Portia. Out on November 16th. That's a little plug she's putting to go out there and get her uh, manuscript of a book. Or, I don't know, maybe it's less than 200 pages. Who knows? Who knows? But, who job? Mm -mm. As for the rest, you all just have to wait and see. Love ya. Hashtag the pursuit of Portia. Hashtag the cater girl. Okay, that's what she said. Bailey continued. Thank you, NBC Universal. Bravo and Trula. Okay, we don't want to talk about Cynthia. They was just giving that, that uh, send off since they were talking about Portia. Uh, going to her social media platform. Expressing so much uh, gratitude, love, and, you know, 
things that she had to just move on, you know. Uh, then it goes on to say the Real Housewives of Atlanta has been on a bit of a hiatus since ending season 13 in May. The girl wrote previously reported since then several other OGs have been busy with other projects with Kenya Moore joining the Dancing with the Stars. Candy Birds is producing a play on Broadway and Williams is filming a spinoff series for Bravo. Okay, she's getting her Kim Zodiac Berman look and apparel together. Hopefully, her pursuit of Portia can last eight seasons. Oh, please let it last more than one season because this girl done threw caution to the wind and threw all her income out the door. And thinking that uh, Andy Cohen is leaving it open for it, just a little crack. When she want to sneak back in. She said the same thing with Dish Nation. Just want a little crack in case she had to come back. If things fall apart. Going around and quitting jobs like she a millionaire. A, mil- a, z- a billionaire, I should say. But going back to the article, it said the special will re- reportedly focus on Williams, her family, and her activism. The guru reported that Williams' engagement to Simon Gabadia may become a bigger part of the special. No other members of the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise are expected to appear in it. But Lauren Williams, her sister, and her mother, Diane Williams, may likely be a part of the show. Hell, if you don't put them to who else you got? You, you, you know, did you ask Shamia to be a part of your show? Or are you still holding out? Because she's supposed to be over there filming with Candy on her little special. So, I'm like, who you got on your show, girl? Because I sure don't want to see a whole lot of people you don't know. Uh, Simon's a Nigerian family and they probably be talking another language and you'll be like dumbfounded not even understanding what they're talking about here they might be talking about you Portia like you some stupid black American you know I, you, you know what I'm saying who'll be like the Asians be talking their whole language and be cussing you out at the same time and you don't know you don't know girl but anyway moving on from that this is the second limited series that Williams has filmed for Bravo in 2019, the network aired Portia's Having a Baby, which chronicled her pregnancy with her daughter, Prilar, who's now two. And I'm going to tell you, Portia, that was a hot mess. That, that wasn't even worth them doing for you. So that's why I said, girl, you do them. Ooh, you don't throw out these lucrative business adventures, opportunities, and investments to keep your other projects afloat. You just let go. Let go of Bravo and Dish Nation like it wasn't shit. Okay, okay, I get it, Porch, I get it. Anyway, going back to the article, it says, In a new Instagram post, Williams reveals she bought her fiancé his own engagement ring. That was a uh, cheap, cheesy move. Not in this article, but this is how I feel. Williams and her new beau made major headlines when they de- debuted it. Uh, debuted their engagement online shortly after their 13th season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta finished airing the guru previously reported. The union has ma- as the union had many viewers, viewers and fans giving Williams some side eyes as Gabadi was still married at the time to Williams co-star on the show Felon Gabadi. That woman right there. She pretty too, ain't she? Oh, Simon know how to pick them, but I'm like, girl, Porsche, 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 you think you you think Fallon wasn't hitting it like you hitting it with Simon, girl? Fallon much younger than you, that means she's probably a lot more flexible than you. So if she could make it work, how do you think you gonna make it work with Simon Go Body Yeah? They calling him Dirty Simon on some YouTubers uh platforms. But anyway, um it says, meanwhile, former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cherie Whitfield is rumored to possibly make her second return to the series. They already told us she's coming back. Don't know why. Don't know why. Don't know why. I know she's getting paid uh, pennies on the dollar because she don't bring anything. She really don't. Um, not in this article. My sidebar. Then we have Marlo Hampton has reportedly bumped up from friend of the Housewives to full-time cast member. And former Olympian Sanya Richards Ross may be in talks to joining the show, which has not begun filming yet. But they have gave her the peach. They have gave her the green light. They're going to test run her. Hopefully she won't... Um, test bad and she won't be entering into something that's going to tear her marriage up so you know because folk be digging up stuff on you when you hit that spotlight they got to know more about you especially if you're seeming kind of shady you know what i'm saying but anyway 
that's all we had, guys. That's what we had. And I was like, that was enough. That was enough for me. Plus, she's going around here quitting jobs like it ain't nothing. Like, she got a boat to, oh, like a, what do you call it? Don't throw the baby out with the bath water in type of situation. You know, just because you got this man that you think worth billions and you think you're going to be the next queen or the princess or something. And he's going to take care of you for the rest of your life. But just how you enter into this situation, Portia. That's why it's hard for me to believe it's going to be fruitful for you. Okay. Unless, you know, like, we don't necessarily have the backstory. That would be nice for somebody to come out and tell us the backstory. And hopefully it's not too seedy. And then we could understand it a little better from my perspective. Because right now I'm like, girl, you're tearing up somebody's marriage. Even though it was on the rocks, you should have let them fail to the ground before you picked up the pieces with Simon. But you just came in and just tore the whole shit down. Okay? It was already on shaky ground. Already on one side, tilted to, to, to turn over. And you just like, click, click the last leg and the shit that fell to the ground and you just took over. I don't know, boys. I don't know. I don't know. That's between you and your Lord, honey. You and your Lord. But that's all I had of this video. I'm going to hate to see Portia go. But if she's not happy, if they're not paying her what she feels she's worth at this time, then I'm like, yeah, I'll do your due diligence and uh, see what else is out there. That's the only thing you can do. So, um, I look at it as a good thing. She want to spread her wings. And she's been a part of the franchise for a very long time. And if they're giving her her spinoff, I guess she needs to develop more time in creating that energy. And that positiveness that she's going to need to help that channel, not a channel, but the uh, sitcom she's in uh, grow. And she's going to get you know her people meaning her fans followers to come over there and support that project because if it goes south whoo Porsche 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 whoo that's all thing I can say is Porsche 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 but if you like these videos please comment share and subscribe to the channel okay and we will crank them all out for you you know i always have an opinion on some things not all only on some things that interest me but if you love these type of videos don't hesitate to share and like my videos and subscribe to the channel i will see y'all next video Bye bye